in the groove. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be here this morning. And it's a should. wet Saturday morning here. Should. In uh, but Lagos, no, Nigeria. But no reducing, no mm. blues for you at all. Wow. Uh, well, rains, let's, let's start with nothing on you. That, um, uh, that short video we saw. Beautiful there. piece by Timmy Dakolo. Yeah, Timmy Dakolo in, Obi. released in 2021. Absolutely. We're talking about Obi, you know, talking about uh, marital bliss. Well, let me, let me use this evil word to you as Kemaka Ndubono. Hmm. Well, you sounds know, good. Well, well, sounds good. Means, Even from my untutored. How, how are you and how's the family? That's what it means uh, there uh, in oh, really? uh, Igbo language. Well, talking about this particular video, it's about um, marital bliss to those who are getting married uh, this Saturday. Been a wet Saturday in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome, everyone. Oh, I'm so excited once again to be here and again. And even if, even if you're not getting married today, mm. this um, wonderful feeling, we hope that this wonderful feeling will somehow make you reignite mm. or uh, reawaken your marital vows, vows this yeah, rainy Saturday morning. All right, Emmanuel, just at this time, let's quickly bring up uh, the video of Nobel laureate Wale Shoinka, yeah. who was commenting on the outcome of the 2023 what, presidential yeah. election. Well, his views have been generating so much reaction on X, formerly called Twitter. And even the Labour Party has responded to what he said in a statement released on Thursday. The party says it disagrees with Professor Shoika and they accused him of being blind to the truth. Uh, three days now or thereabouts, um, you know, the views of um, revered uh, Professor Shoika. To get some more context, now let's listen uh, directly to yeah, particular, uh, his views. Yeah. Yeah. These recent elections. It's unfortunate that, uh, because the two things happened, first of all. One party took over the labor movement, which is one of my favorite uh, movements also. And then it became a regional party, more than, whereas it was a marvelous breach into the established two camps. Peter Obi achieved something remarkable there, that he broke that mold. Yes, mm -hmm. however, he did not win the election. Mm -hmm. In addition, my own organization has a monitoring unit. You know the one I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And so I could say categorically that Peter Obi's party came third, not even second. And that the leadership knew it. Mm. Well, they wanted to do what we call in Yoruba, Bajue. <laughs> that is, you know, you have force of arms. Mm -hmm. You also have force of lies. Mm. And it was gearing up towards the Holland. They were going to send some of the hardliners, were going to send crowds, young people, into the streets to demonstrate. I'm always ready to be among such demonstrators, but only on the banner of truth, not of lies. Professor Wallace Chuinka, they're speaking in uh, faraway South Africa at an event titled The Lives of Wallace Chuinka, a dialogue. It was organized by Africa in the World, and it's uh, a days long uh, event. I understand that it continues up until today mm. or, or thereabouts since earlier on in the week. And uh, of course, back home in Nigeria, there's been so many diverse mixed, mixed reactions, reactions uh, Emmanuel, uh, regarding. His views, and it will not be the first time the Nobel laureate will be speaking about the 2023 elections. And um, well, so many things stand out for us in that um, short piece. So right. It would be good to put them into context. But you know, one for me is the issue of the Labour Party. Give it to them in terms of opposition, in terms of you know putting the ruling party at, at his feet, adding value mm. to the system, uh, so to speak. And many people have been saying that, okay, that the PDP that should be like the main opposition has not been doing as such, unlike the APC when the APC was the main opposition party. party. And now the influx of the Labour Party riding on, you know, the wings of, you know, many youth who were on their side uh, during the election. But Professor Shoyenka says there is a caveat in Definitely. his opinion, and we've well, seen how far with the mm, courts now, uh, 
and INEC, of course, uh, Bola Tinobu won the election and Peter Obi came third. Well, this is coming in the aftermath of um, that particular mm -hmm. landmark judgment coming from the tribunal, uh, affirming the victory of uh, the president, uh, President Bola Tinobu, as the winner of that uh, February 25th uh, uh, presidential election. I will give it to uh, the uh, Lube Loret uh, talking about uh, Wale Shoyinka, the 89 year old uh, uh, professor there, coming, year old. Com coming out mm. uh, to be very much specific about uh, this particular uh, development in the country, talking to uh, the Labour Party that you came third, and he's saying it categorically that uh, you came third, not second. And um, th this is something uh, that he used the word uh, badwe. Uh, when you look at the word badwe, in, uh, it's a Yoruba uh, word. Uh, it means deception. It means to hoodwink. Well, but you, you, you can't just come out, coming out uh, When you thought. buy a product. Uh, yeah, coming out thought in a particular you election. Came, uh, and you're claiming, yeah, you're, you're claiming that um, you, you, you indeed uh, won that election. Uh, uh, the Nobel laureate they're saying, it's, it's what we call badwe. So I'll give it to him. Well, he's been, this is not the first time uh, Professor Wale Shoyinka will be coming out hard on the obedient uh, movement. Uh, well, when you look at the wave of the 2023 general election, we saw uh, a resurgence of the youth coming out uh, to show their, their, their support for uh, democracy in Nigeria, coming out to say, well, we will give all our best to ensure we have a change in the country. Yes, give it to the youth there, talking about uh, their uh, awareness about this particular election, and they are coming out to... Uh, do the, the, do the need for in the election. But one thing I want us to know is that you don't come out in a particular election to say, yes, we'll give it all. And you hide under the deception of uh, whether we like it or not, I will be, uh, I'm the winner of that election. That is right. what um, Professor Wale Shoyinka is coming out clearly on the obedient movement. Now, you didn't win this election. You came third, not, uh, not even second. Right. But by law, he's entitled, that's Peter Obi, is entitled to test the judicial waters Definitely. on the issue of election as to who truly won the election. And now attention has shifted to the Supreme Court. We, we cannot explore is, all is, the is angles. Is that right? Is we, that right we, to go? Absolutely. Is that right to go to the Supreme Court? We can't Court explore and, the angles let, let, let now. Let me let you know, Ima, Imano, we have limited time. time. I know, I know that this is something that many Nigerians mm. uh, have views on. Uh, but, you know, but that said, let's quickly bring up some